Hi Leo, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today we're doing your mid-May general reading, again for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, right after this reading, we always go right into your love reading. If you wanna check that out, it's the first link in the description box below. We check in on the other person you're dealing with in love. How are they showing up? How are you showing up? What, how do they feel? What are their true intentions? Um, we look at mutual energy, things y'all go through together, and of course, what's their next step in love? What's your next step in love? And everything else in between, all right? Let's get right into it. Again, this is for Leo. What's going on, Leo? Thank y'all for your continued support, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, lovely comments. Y'all know I appreciate you. All right, we've got three more. This is for Leo. Leo. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Wands in reverse as your theme for this reading, Leo. That's your energy, fire energy. Could be dealing with another fire sign for some of you, Sag, uh, maybe an Aries, but there's something where you feel defeated. Six of Wands in the upright is, I won, victorious, feeling good about something, feeling accomplished. And right now you feel maybe a little bit down, like maybe something didn't go your way that you were wishing it would have. All right, let's get into this and see what's your current situation. Mid-May for Leo. Spirit, what is their current situation? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You feel like something's either gone backwards instead of moving forwards. I'm hearing that, um, you know, when you take two steps forward, but three steps back, like I feel like that's how y'all are feeling. Um, you might have been dealing with something difficult or something even karmic right now. Um, and with the Queen of Cups too, you're, I feel like your emotions are a little bit drained over this situation. Let's go a little deeper. What's crossing this energy? The Two of Cups. So that tells me right there, this is about someone that you really love and care about. Um, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the Three of Cups in reverse. I feel like right now you're not really into reuniting with somebody or some type of situation that's going on with you. Um, this could be, you know, Two of Cups to me is like two really good friends, best friends, could be a romantic partner. Um, it could be a family member or your career. You know, these are general. However, that you, know, you already know what that is to you. Um, so, and then the Ace of Pentacles is also behind this Three of Cups in reverse. So there is an opportunity. It's like someone wants to reunite with you. Someone wants to reach out, be friends again, be partners again, be lovers again, whatever. Be in a relationship again. Be, they want to be in union with you and you're just really on the fence. You feel like, you almost feel like when you're around this person, maybe like, oh my gosh, all this weird stuff happens or maybe bad stuff happens. That's kind of what I feel, you know? So I think you're really paying attention to the signs of the universe. Yeah, two of swords just fell out on its own. What's the focus? That's too many. What's the focus here for Leo? What's the focus? Oh. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And with the Five of Cups, the, you do, the focus here is for you to really check in with those emotions. And it's okay to feel whatever it is that you're feeling. If you're upset, if you're, you know, need a good cry, if whatever it is, I just, y'all need to know that it's okay to feel those things out. Okay, because as you release and also let go of maybe pent up energy or stuff that just needs to be released in a way, you really step into this Queen of Pentacles energy, whether you're dealing with an earth sign or not, you're stepping into this Queen of Pentacles energy where you're realizing your foundation, your worth, and your value. You realize, hey, I'm so much stronger, I'm so much more of worth than what I've been given in the past. It's like you're kind of waking up to how 
abundant you are, how, how much that you, I feel like y'all need to be lifted a little bit higher on a pedestal and really need to be seen in that way because right now you maybe feel a little bit down about yourself, but you really have to hold that energy up for yourself as well. That's very important for you to see yourself as this king or queen kind of energy. You know that you're very valuable and special. You already know that. But you're having a hard time really understanding that with the Five of Cups here as well. It's like for some of you, if you feel upset or feel like, you know, sensitive or emotional about this person or a situation, you feel like because you feel that way, it lessens the value of who you are, but that's just the opposite. In that time of letting go and releasing, we really, the strength card, your card, Leo, you find that inner strength and you, you kind of tap back in and remember, oh my gosh, I'm this beautiful diamond in the rough or handsome diamond in the rough. What's been happening in Leo's past? Leo's past. The lovers. Yeah, this is about love for a lot of you or some type of, you know, very special connection. Um, could, be have dealing with, could be dealing with a Gemini for some of you. So there is a strong, strong connection between you and this person. What's the crowning energy for Leo? Hierophant. Marriage, union, partnership. Even if you're not literally married, this is, this is quite the commitment here. Both the lovers and the hierophant are highly spiritual connections. One is your own belief system and one is connecting with another person's higher self or belief system. Could be dealing with a Taurus for some of you. But commitment is on your mind. I feel like it hasn't been in the recent past. Even though we have the lovers, I'm still looking at this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You've had some real hiccups with this person or this situation in the past and you're really just, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And you're working on you, Queen of Pentacles. You could be working on your job, on your career, working on your connections within your family, building yourself up, building, building up your, um, I'm hearing mojo, like getting your mojo back again, getting your, getting your pride back again. I am talking to Leo. Y'all are all about the pride and the loyalty. Future energy here for Leo. You have the star card in reverse, card of Aquarius, and then we have the death card. Let's get one more with the star in reverse. Future energy for Leo, that one. Ace of Cups. Wow. Some of you are going to have a love offer from a water sign or an Aquarius specifically, but overall you are eventually coming back into giving your cup back out because right now you're a little turned off. There's a little bit of that, you know, something didn't, what's that term? Something put a, you know, bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of that term. Um, Something really rubbed you the wrong way, if you will. Y'all know what I'm saying. And Nine of Swords. You know, you do think about this person, the situation, quite a lot. You might have even dreams about this person. But I think the question for you here with the star in reverse is you're trying to figure out, is this the one? Is this the career for me? The partner for me? The lover for me? Is this connection a part of my best and highest good? Is this a part of my destiny? Right? That's your question. With the Ace of Cups there, it's your choice. All right, what's Leo's power here? What's Leo's power? Four of Cups in reverse. Again, emotional energy and temperance, Sagittarius energy, really healing here those emotional energies. Four of Cups is maybe you've been doing the same old, same old recently with this person in the situation, whatever that means to you. And right now, you need to kind of shake things up, try a different routine, try a different something unique that's coming in, a creative something, something to kind of get you moving again, creatively, emotionally, okay? 
whether it has anything to do with this other person or not, this is your power, is to come out of that sense of feeling stagnant, feeling blah. You got this, Leo. Environment for Leo. The world in reverse. This cycle, this chapter, this situation is not over with the world in reverse. Absolutely not. Hopes and fears for Leo. At least the other party feels that way. That's your environment. If this is about your partner, if this is about a job, whatever this is about, how they see things is, I'm not done with my Leo. I'm not done with my Leo. Hopes and fears for Leo. Hopes and fears. Justice. Uh, card of Libra. Absolutely. Y'all just want what's fair and what's right and look at that, your card right there. This is all about doing what's right and what feels fair. Finding balance back in the situation. Okay? Because I feel like for some of you, maybe a reason you have felt so blah, so bored, whatever, maybe you were overgiving to a situation or maybe something else was overgiving in a way however that plays out but you just want things to be fair even and balanced between you and this other person or you and this other situation that's what you want you're like i just want things to be right and with the justice card Hereford and the lovers this might be a marriage for some of you hey i really want to get serious let's do this right let's look at the outcome and then we'll go right into the love reading okay Outcome for Leo. What's the outcome here for Leo? <laughs> it was in the reverse earlier and now it's in the upright. You have the Three of Cups, which is reunion energy. Six of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck now, which in the upright is moving forward, traveling, moving on from something. And right now, you know, I think you're sticking with what you got. And I think you need to just shake yourself out of whatever feels meh to you, you know? Um, you're, you're, whoever you're dealing with, they don't feel like it's over. With the Ace of Cups here, there's a love offer coming in. Absolutely. It's just for you to decide if you want this reunion. I feel like a lot of you will try again to make this work out. So I love you so much, Leo. Thank you for being here. If you want to join the love reading, it's in the description box. It's the first link there. And I, I'll leave it there. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.